basic program. So you have um, hash include um, IO stream. This is your header file, and then you write int main, and I declare one single variable a, which is I assign it to ten, and then I print it. Right, so std c out a, and then I return zero. Close the curly brace. So this is a very fundamental program which has your main uh, main function or main method, and then you have an integer variable a which assigns value ten. <coughs> now where is this going to be stored on the stack? Right, where is this ten going to be stored? on your data lay, uh, data section of it and these program instructions are going to be stored in the code section right? and these uh, written values are going to be stored in your uh, data section with the set of instructions what to be executed one after the other now while you have this where is a pointer right? what is the concept of pointer here now you are referring to this right int a in the stack section of your memory memory layout, where is this being stored in the stack section? So if you think this whole part is your stack section, right? So you have a stored here, and when you say c out a, that is yeah, it makes sense. So you have a variable you are referring to it. If you declare a and try to access b, will you be able to get it? No, the compiler throws an error saying that I don't know what you are referring to b as, because I don't know what B is, but I see what A is. So you better access A with A or change the name of A to B, right? So therefore, you should have a name to data section or data location that you are referring to for an easy purpose, right? So if you have your name, right? As every individual, we have names. Now, e each name uh, refers to us. So when you call uh, Venki, okay, Venki, be, Venki means, okay, this person, now I have to respond. If someone is calling me, I have to respond. Now, A is like that. Now, what is inside, you know, uh, the variable name? That is, how is this working? Now, I've been trained to respond whenever I've, I'm called as Venki, or, you know, you are trained from childhood that whenever you are called with your name, you uh, got to respond. Now, likewise, what have you... Uh, done here is a every variable that you declare is given certain amount of memory right so that you store what you want to store since it's an integer so we are saying that I'm going to store an integer that is four bytes now you can limit it to four bytes by saying integer or you can increase the size of it by unsigned integer and then access it but we don't want to access right every uh, in internally your address space has a hexadecimal addresses starting from range to an end range now every time referring to those address and uh, printing it is going to be cumbersome job so therefore we have simplified it with the variable names now internally it is every variable that you give has an address starting point so if i call 0x 1000 now to 0x 1004 four bytes right every byte is referred to uh, with an address and then you have you access it with a variable name what if you want to know what is the address of it what if you want to know what is the address of your variable a now th that is where you have new symbols when you are dealing with pointers so one such new symbol is ampersand and the next one is the star and then indirection operator this is hyphen and the greater than symbol put together these three symbols are newly introduced to interact with addresses of your variables now these three uh, new symbols are going to be extensively used in uh, pointers we will be covering more uh, with these new symbols and how to make use of them what what do we mean by them